take a look at these couple of clips I have in the beginning. One is from a small YouTuber and one is from a medium-sized YouTuber that has about 80,000 subs. Tell me if you think they're cheating down in the comments. You see, in the first clip, we have a guy who's in the gas, who's clearly outside the circle, sitting there stimming while using rockets to kill the enemy players to pull a win. In the second clip, we have none of that. We have a guy who does zero kills and zero damage, who doesn't even touch the enemy, who just stims in the gas to get the win. Tell me, are these guys cheating? So as you know, I kind of bring light to a different side of the playing field. Understand that cheaters and non-cheaters and people who just play the game are all on the same playing field. So what I'm trying to bring you is a different perspective, something you normally might not see. In order for you to see this perspective, you have to kind of look at things another way. And that perspective I'm trying to bring to you. So join me in this video while I take you into the guy named Saksu. This guy has been accused of cheating in the past, but what I'm trying to do is get you to see another side that some people actually do see, but others don't. And with that, let this video begin. Let's move on. But the whole video is basically me reacting to a video about some video a dude made on me. Basically saying I was a cheater, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I also explain a lot of the things that factor into my career, how I got here, who I am. And I just got a lot of important things that I really want to talk about and get off my chest. Especially since like being a COD YouTuber or creator in general is just hard because literally everybody thinks you're cheating. Like you're not allowed to be good at a game in 2024, according to this community. Okay, so what he says here is that in 2024, nobody really could be good at the game. They mainly just say that everybody is good at the game in some way or another is cheating. So I wanna take a dive into this thing that people say, not just cheating, but the perspective Let's move on. And I would also like a lot of you that like, if you care about me, you care about anything I got going on. Or So I know that was a fast clip right there, but let me just tell you this. People care enough to go to somebody's YouTube channel to accuse them of cheating, but don't care enough for anything else. It's just one basic area. Let's move on. This guy is a war zone, rebirth island, reverse boosting. <laughs> is very good at this game very good thanks movement aim everything he does Appreciate is very it. good but not oh. gonna lie but he's a reverse boosting so you could see here he's getting some criticism which is understandable most of the time most of us give these youtubers criticism criticism is pretty much always in the negative so far we could see that he's handling it pretty well so let's move on like bro my lobbies are not like you guys lobbies bro my lobbies are genuinely harder than rank play literally in public matches why would i go out of my way to spend five hours a day trying to get one good gameplay for youtube when i could just load up a two box grab like three gameplays continue to upload continue to be myself and continue to have fun now what he's saying here is that his lobbies are pretty intense i think with sbmm and eom and we all can contest that the lobbies are pretty much yeah we know but the long story is short what he's pointing out here is the fun factor. Focus on the fun factor. Before I continue, also let me get this out. I am in no way defending this man. I am not defending this man or any actions that this man does. What I'm doing is giving you a different perspective that you have never seen. I'm gonna like, look, I'm not gonna say any names, but if this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy, all YouTubers that I know can make 30, 50, $20,000 a month on YouTube. Why would I go through all this trouble just to make $5,000 on YouTube or something? When these mother got the sauce making bands. At the end of the day, this is life, bro. This is life. We need money. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not paying my bills. Why do you care about my life? Why do you care what I do? Are you paying my bills? No. Are you keeping me alive? So here he's talking about how he uses YouTube as well as Call of Duty to make money. So instead of making only 5K a month, he makes onwards up from up to a 30,000 or so. Pay attention. Let's move on. Swag, he blew up off of reverse boosting. All these people back then got famous from reverse boosting. Korean Savage, the niggas fights bots. All those OG YouTubers, they blew up from fighting bots. So understand that everybody out there is a hammer and they're all looking for a nail. 
With that said, he's saying that all your favorite streamers do something or another to get great lobbies. In other words, these guys are having fun and you're not. We're not focusing on the methods they use to get these lobbies. We're focusing on the fun factor. Let's move on. But now that the new generation is doing it, it's a problem, huh? It makes no sense. Literally every COD YouTuber, reverse boost, two boxes. It's a lie. And here we are to the morals and values. My morals and values are not going to be yours. And his morals and values are not going to be yours either. You see, we're all questioning things, but our values and morals are different from one another. Just like religions or who we follow as God. Everything is different in this world. Hence the perspective. There's no unspoken rule against men. It's just we think or we're told by another person, especially maybe hacker hunters or some other streamers, what is good and what is bad towards the game. Hence here is morals and values, because basically that's what he's bringing into play. Let's move on. And I'm not, I'm going to be the only one to tell you guys this. Nobody talks about it. It's like one of those unwritten rules where nobody talks about it. We just play the game and have fun. And therein lies some truth. See, he's explaining that there's unwritten rules amongst men or gamers that we don't ever talk about. The clip at the end, at the beginning of this video was for me showing you that these people use different methods to win. It's up to the individual to sit there and say, well, they're cheating versus other people say they're not cheating. It's all down to perspective. A lot of people don't understand that the fun factor of the game is mainly the concern of most everybody. I don't really know anybody that plays the game that doesn't want to have fun. We tend to be driven more or less by what people say rather than how we feel about the fun factor. When I first got into gaming, I remember that all I ever wanted to do was have fun on the game. And I'm pretty sure for most of you guys, you guys have the same thought process. With skill-based matchmaking, most people find the game not interesting because then we're faced to force people exactly of our own caliber. And at times, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I play a little bit sweaty and I really don't like going against people exactly like me. I want there to be different variation. With methods that people use, people find ways around to get to that variation. To add to that, as a content creator, you have to also think of what people want to see. If we were to take away the skill-based matchmaking EOMM, everybody would just focus on the fun factor. You see, the perspective is just the fun itself. All your favorite streamers or content creators or even people that are hacker hunters all focus on the same thing, fun. Unfortunately, corporations like Activision, for example, have an artificial intelli intelligence, excuse me, I can't even say the word, algorithm that puts things and matches you against players of similar skill. Now, there are people who like this factor of this, but it's few far in between. The majority of people just kind of want to play the game and not have to worry about stuff like this. Hence the reason of complaining about SBMM, EOMM. Almost every single player, as well as almost every single person has complained about SBMM slash EOMM. And I'm not mad about these guys finding ways around it, but you also can't force people to sit there and admit something that you hold dear to yourself. We have a ton of YouTubers, smaller YouTubers that complain about other YouTubers and sit there and make long, long videos and video after video and video after video, hours upon hours about how they're getting away with stuff and you're not because you chose to go the route that seemed morally fit. Again, your morals and values are not everybody else's morals and values. In the same sense, we could take, for example, the LGBTQ. Some people stand with them and some people are against them. It all depends what you want to stand on. Some things are important and some things are not. Also understand, united we stand divided we fall. None of this would exist if SBMM slash EOMM wasn't in the game. You guys also got to understand that recently with the uproar of everybody talking about SBMM slash EOMM, we got Activision to actually speak about it. Now it's a small win, but you guys got to understand that as United, we can get corporations to come out or get rid of things if we push that hard. 
But instead, we're over here, out here, picking on each other, talking about he did this and she did that. And yet, I understand there's cheaters in the midst of it. I think that if the COD community were to unite on one thing, it should be the thing about Ricochet. Although I do completely understand that some of you guys can't stand this stuff. And my obvious advice is, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. There's too many people out here like rage bait channels who make a bunch of content on the same stuff over and over. They just switch off from one person to the next to the next and it just seems to blend all their content to sound the same exact way. All I'm trying to do is give you a different perspective on things because, well, as a, an adult or maybe even people out there to just hear word of mouth or even videos, we're missing the big picture here. I try to focus on the fun and sometimes the fun with SBMM and EOMM is just not there. If you feel like it's breaking the rules, then don't do it. But let me tell you this. You see, lawyers look for cracks in evidence to see or bring a reasonable doubt. I just want to tell you that if you go look at the TOS about rules and regulations, it says a player colluding with another player. Now, let me tell you this. A player that is you when you control both accounts, you are the player. And in a sense, you're not really breaking TOS like you think so. But again, it's all up to perspective. And with that said, I'm one eye gamer. I'm just giving you a different perspective. I'm the man who asks questions and I bring it to you. It's up to you to think that things are morally safe, morally unsafe, morally good or morally bad. But ultimately, I think here we should focus on the fun factor. Yeah, I don't like things about things that people do, but overall, I can't make people do what I want them to do. If you like the video, hit the sub. Hey, if you love it even more, hit the like. I also got a second channel where I just do some e-biking and fishing and just, well, I'm just cruising around. So if you want to see me be bored, yeah, come on over. I always appreciate it. The link will be down below. And until the next time, have a good one. I'm just here to entertain you guys and make cool videos. That's it.